if you are interested in donating to my classroom i have a wish list down in the down bar in that description box it'll be like the first link so if you are interested in donating check that out hey guys so i'm at another walmart and i am looking for that unicorn backpack so if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my video from last year. When I was in Idaho, I got a sequin backpack, backpack that has like a unicorn horn at the top. And like when you uh, wipe your hand across, it'll change colors. So I found one of those when I was in Idaho last year. And I'm looking for another one this year because I just wanna have another one this year. That one was just so fun and I just really loved it. So I'm looking for another one. Um, I'm at another Walmart because the first one I went to didn't have it and honestly they didn't have a lot of selection in general for backpacks and especially since it's back to school season I'm just hoping to find that Walmart that has a lot of um, selection so here we go let's go shopping <laughs> Before we go in, um, if you don't know me, my name is Amanda. I am a high school teacher. If you're a teacher, make sure you subscribe and let me know if you're a teacher too. If you're a teacher tuber, I definitely want to subscribe to you. Um, go ahead and like this video before you even watch it because why not? And subscribe because why not? So, okay, let's go inside. I was told it was urgent. Come see me tonight. Okay, so I finally found the school stuff and it looks like there's a lot more selection here just off the bat because everything slipped around so I had to look pretty hard and then I found like everything all at once. Um, they don't seem to have any backpacks yet. I mean obviously they have some but I haven't seen any. Um, but I wanted to check out these pencil holders because I love pencil holders. They're so fun like this like How could you not love that with the little beads in it? Love it and I was walking trying to find the back-to-school stuff and I found a shirt already that I love and it is so random and it's not even like a back-to-school shirt. It's just a shirt that I saw hanging up and it's this one <laughs> so if you don't know what that is it's like the cup of noodles they're so so good i love them my students eat them all the time and i thought it was so funny so i decided to get it and i looked at there's only one and i saw it like randomly somewhere and it's a large which is originally like normally too big for me but it's kid size so i think it would work i see the backpacks all the way at the end over here but I don't see any unicorn ones. I see some sequin ones, so that could be a good sign. Wow, so this is it too. How come all the Walmarts are just like slacking with the backpacks this year? This one's really cute. But it's so hot outside. It's like 95 degrees and this would bother me so much in the heat. But it's cute. Mostly because of this rainbow stuff here. But there's some sequin ones, just not the ones I'm looking for. Oh, so you got a unicorn one and you got sequin ones, but not together. Kind of sad. These are cool. Definitely not a lot of selection. And these are like baby ones, like little kid toddler ones, but not a lot. I'm pretty surprised but they do have these again and I definitely need some of these so I think I'm gonna grab a blue one and then see if they have more colors so they've got white and black but those are kind of plain they aren't as fun I want like rainbow colors it's hard to find those um, like cube box things in regular rainbow colors because they tend to add like teal and pink and purple and like different types of rainbow colors that don't go in your normal rainbow so they wouldn't really match my um, classroom decor so but I did get a suggestion from someone to spray paint them and then you'll get the right colors which I think is like so good like so like who thinks of that you know like so good but then you go and you buy the spray paint and it's like 10 bottles per can 
per color and you have six colors I think so $60 just to paint the, the boxes so I don't think I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna keep looking they do seem to have a lot more variety in terms of um, binders like a lot more cute ones this is cute and this one we got like puppy sleeping and that's a binder that is so cute so 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 cute and what is this this looks like a planner yeah a planner so I'm sure they have a lot more um, planner varieties here too but let's get through the binders we got page protectors and this is really cute it's cute what is this a binder pouch that locks how funny people are stealing your pencils I guess <laughs> that's funny but yeah, so these ones, I'm just looking for rainbow colors, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But I guess blue we'll just do. We'll just do with blue. Maybe I should get two. <laughs> All the rhyming. Should I get two blue? Or maybe a white? No, white won't really match. Teal definitely won't. Black is so plain to me. Like if I had a blue and a red, that'd be good. Or a blue and a green, that'd be good. But maybe I'll try another Walmart too. But we've got a lot of these um, like page holders, paper holders, so this is file folders. These are cute. So what I'm doing this year is I am giving homework this year. And the homework is going to be like handouts that I make for the kids. And it's just random things that like they should know, but I know they don't because their teachers didn't teach it to them when they were younger, like in junior high and elementary school. Um, so they're gonna be like random worksheets, like one worksheet is gonna be on the difference of there, there, and there. Another one's gonna be your and you are and all that stuff. So all those are gonna be like individual worksheets that are gonna be for homework. So I'll spend like 10 minutes at the end of each period going over it and then that'll be their homework. So they're still learning those important things because honestly, if someone sends me a text and I'm that person if someone sends me a text and they say you are instead of your or the opposite or anything like that it really bothers me and I'm not saying that it's like a personal problem that like yeah I have to deal with it no but it's like I feel like it's just so simple and I don't know I feel like it's just so simple and people just don't care enough to learn it or because you know they've been called out. You know they have been called out on Facebook or Instagram or wherever they use it, in text and everything. You know they've been called out, but they don't care enough to fix it. So I, I'm gonna be doing that for homework this year. All right, so we got planners over here and these are the happy planners. This one's like a teacher one. Here's to a brilliant year. Now I'm looking for a happy planner as well, but I don't like the setup of them in these ones. So, let me see here. We can get to some pages. Yeah, so these are all horizontal. And I don't like that. I like them going down. So like Monday will be this way. So I can have my different periods in each one. Just because it just works better for me. I don't know. But if I can find one of those, I'm definitely gonna grab it. Cause they had them last year and the year before, but I just can't find them anymore this year. They're all horizontal it seems. These ones horizontal too. These ones go down. And it's rainbow. But I don't like pink in my rainbow. It's just me. I prefer regular rainbow without pink. And it's a unicorn. Is this like my planner? Let's see. I mean, it's okay, but there's not a lot of room to write and it's not like separated. I don't think this is my planner. But it's cute. It's a good, it's a good one if you prefer something smaller, but I don't think it's mine. So I'm definitely having my students get these and they just need one. So it's like a two pocket folder. And this is where their homework's gonna be put at the end of the day. Kind of like elementary school where, I don't know if you remember or if you had it, but in my elementary school, we each had to have one of those and we'd put our homework in it on one side and if we're finished we put it on the other side and you take out your homework folders but that's what I'm gonna have that's what I'm doing with my high school kids this year 
It's because my kids are not used to homework at all. Like they don't have homework. At my previous school, I was told that if you're giving them homework, you are, like you know they're not gonna do it. You're helping them fail. Like you are promoting failure by assigning homework. And I thought that was so ridiculous. So since then I just hadn't done homework because I don't wanna get in trouble, you know? So this year I'm like, you know what? No, they need it. So I'm just heightening my standards and they're gonna get homework this year. So we're gonna see how that goes, but I'm definitely gonna see what I can do. But and we also got these cute little folders. Finder with a puppy on it, like it's his birthday. Cute. All right, so one thing I found at the other Walmart was this giant like box of erasers and it was only five dollars and they were like rainbow erasers. It was like a rewards box. So it was kind of like this. It was all these, but it was a giant box of them. I don't remember how many were in it, but there were a lot of them. So I'm thinking I should definitely pick some of those because I didn't pick any up at the other one and I should have. Ooh, these are so cute. I love fun pencils. But yeah, so I'm looking for those too. I don't see any around here, but I see like individual packs. But I think that big pack was definitely a steal. It was definitely a bargain. I don't see any here. Here's some more planners here. These are not the happy planners, just regular planners. But there's not a lot of space to write. So like, I use mine for lesson planning, like what I'm doing each day and where we leave off for each period. But the happy planner was just the best for me. And I'm just sad they changed it. Like this has a lot of room, but it's not separated very well. So, Still figuring that out. How cute. I love the clear glue, but my students just can't handle it. Like it looks so empty. 748. Hmm. And here we get all of our Crayola stuff. So these are actually pretty expensive. 334. I wonder why. Usually they're like a dollar. I think they were a dollar at the other one. Maybe it's just, yeah. Oh, that has 20 markers. It's pretty expensive. $8.97. You could get these cheaper on Amazon for like $5 a box. That's what I usually do. I've never tried the silly set. These are stinky ones. That's so funny. I would not like those, but I know the students would. Crazy art back to school set. Oh, this is clever. So this whole thing is thirteen dollars. You get everything. That's actually really cool. It says seventy-eight pieces, but I think that's counting like every crayon and every pencil. That's so funny, but it's cool. Very cool. I think Crayola should hop on that wagon. All right, so we got some whiteboard stuff here, and I was thinking of getting something like this so that the students would know what is coming up the whole week, but it's so small. I feel like I'd rather put that on the whiteboard so they can actually see it. Um, but I know one teacher does something, um, like a full calendar like this, and she'll put it by her door so students can see when things are due and stuff. But I thought that's pretty cool. Cork boards. So there's really not a lot here for back to school. Like there were three aisles and then two of the aisles, it was only like one side of the aisle. So I'm guessing all their like exciting stuff is just in the middle, which is kind of like where it came up to everything. And I was like, wow. So let's check those out. Here's your markers for a dollar. Well, there's no markers in there. This one I guess. 97 cents. There we go. That makes more sense. 33 cents for a pack of crazy art fans. You know, I kind of want to try these just to see how they work. So I'm going to grab one for 33 cents. Because you always see them, but people always prefer Crayola. $2.97. Pretty good. Let's 
seven. I have so many pencils because whenever students leave pencils in the classroom, I grab them and I put them in like a little container and then if they need a pencil, I'll give them one of those. So I don't really have to buy a ton of pencils, but when I do, I definitely don't get them lead pencils because then they run out of lead and lead is more expensive. So I just get the regular like Ticonderoga ones. But um, yeah, just heads up. If your students leave pencils in your classroom, pick them up, put them in a box and give them those pencils when they forget one. $2.97 for these. These are actually really fun. I was going to, I still am going to actually. I'm gonna give students index cards and that's why I'm gonna call names. So my kids are so quiet all the time that like I'll ask a question and they'll just all stare at me like all day, no answers. So I figure let's do these. I did this when I was student teaching. It's just so hard because I get so many kids absent each day and it's just kind of like goes like that all the time. So I'm gonna get these and I'm gonna see how that works this year. Look at these, $5 for 32 gigabytes. That's actually really good. If you are in need of a flash drive, I would definitely suggest getting one for five bucks here. Erasable highlighters. Okay guys, I just got out of Walmart and I don't know if it's just like Walmart's giving up on their backpack selection or something, but I could not find a lot at all. Um, you saw what there was, not, there was nothing else. So I was searching like the purse area and there wasn't anything over there. They're like regular purses, but I don't know if they just gave up on backpacks and I don't know, maybe they didn't sell enough last year or the year before, but um, maybe it's just the state I'm in, I don't know. In Idaho, there were a whole lot of backpacks. Check out my video from last year. You will see exactly how many backpacks there were. I had so much to choose from, and this one, it's like, that's it? Like, really? So, it's kind of sad. So, I may not be able to get my unicorn backpack this year, and I may have to just find something else that'll work. Um, but we'll have to see. I did pick up some things um, while I was there, so I'm actually gonna be doing a haul video for you, so stay tuned for that. And if you have unicorn backpacks at your Walmart and they're pink with a little uh, like plush unicorn, like, I don't know, horn, I guess, corn, I don't know. Um, and they're sequins and they change colors, tell me, let me know. I don't know if it's just because I'm in California now that the backpacks suck here or if just Walmart gave up on them, I don't know. I am definitely in search for them. So I will link the video for you down in the down bar and I'm also gonna link, link it for you up here. So check it out, see if you can find that backpack. I loved it so much and I definitely want a new one. And they were so cheap, it was $10. That's what I love about Walmart backpacks. They're like $10. And I know that they're like little kid backpacks, but who cares? They're 10 bucks and it gets the job done and they're so cute. So that's my trip for Walmart. Stay tuned for a haul video. I also have a haul video that I need to film for um, Target for back to school stuff there. And then one more for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I did get some stuff from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I need to film a haul video for you guys for that too. And it's probably going to be a try on haul, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll just have to see. So, okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're a teacher, let me know your YouTube handle. I would love to subscribe to you too. Um, if you are interested in donating to my classroom, I have a wish list down in the down bar in that description box. It'll be like the first link. If you are interested, I have like a class classroom wish list for Amazon stuff. Um, you can just click the link and it'll purchase it and it'll be sent to me. So if you are interested in donating, check that out. Um, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Let me know if there's any other videos you want to see and I'll see you next time. Bye.